about the Nintendo here? No, I, I have not. Oh, no data for his back pulls. Yeah, but it looks like it's Duck Hunt. Um, yeah. And we're going to go right into it, game one. Fist bumps are out. Here we go. We got a retro uh, match going on. <laughs> Can't watch this is Duck Hunt. Yeah. Bo both of these 80s characters, man. <laughs> Yeah, can't have seen this matchup too much, but uh, I would imagine Game Watch can harass this character. I, I think even with the frame one can, um, Duck Hunt just struggles against characters that can juggle him really well, just because he doesn't really have that many ways to mix up his landing, other than just you know matching the can. Yeah. I don't, th though. I don't think even in San Diego there's too many <laughs> Duck Hunts to fight, honestly. So this is probably one, of, definitely one of those most obscure matchups. Oh yeah, I think so. Like, in general, there's just not that many super like top level duck hunts. Most people don't really play against the character, and uh, you know, for a long time, a lot of people just thought the character just wasn't really that viable. But lately, getting a lot of really good results. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how Spackle goes back to the ledge. I like that using dash tag just to secure her spot back in and gonna go for down throw neutral air. Doesn't mm -hmm. able to get a second hitbox out though. Yeah, unfortunately, it fell out of the last hit. That neutral air could have been tons of damage. Oh, we're gonna go front side of the stage to the next. Nice down smash to catch the jump. Yeah, down smash is usually a good uh, option at the ledge if they're if you notice they're picking an option right away. Oh, another option at the ledge. Just gonna up air right through the corner of the stage. Uh, I I definitely don't think Spackle saw that one come. Yeah. Okay. Spackle's just being patient, trying to figure out how Nintendo is approaching right now. And it's got him at 97%, so that's pretty prime, I think, to potentially get the KO right now. Yeah, he's uh, at a really good percent to bring this one back. I mean, he's not really trailing by too much. He just has to be pretty careful here. Like, Duck Hunt's one of those characters that if you're not, you know, really mindful of the projectiles, makes you know you're back at, you know, 70 plus percent. Yeah. Just from really passive gameplay. As we were kind of seeing from Nintendo already. Yeah, Nintendo's doing a good job of navigating around uh, either the up smash or these grabs that Spackle's trying to get right now. But Ooh, we got no the stage tech. spike. You know, when I see people go that deep on stage, I kind of expect them to be prepared to take, but, you know, I guess it's worth it when you have, you're up the stock. Yeah, the game of watches is actually pretty hard to actually react to, so you have to be ready for it <laughs> beforehand, I think, so, because the upbeat comes out so fast. That is true. So far, I've really been appreciating uh, Nintendo's uh, setups with the can. We've been covering a lot of options, making it very difficult for Spackles to get to center stage without taking some type of damage. Yeah. Oh, dash attack though? That might be the answer. Yeah, just uh, able to knock the can back away, but sh she's losing a lot of stage control because, of course, she's at the high percent and going to get eaten by a back air. Yeah, back air, really strong. Even at the other side of the screen, it's going to be enough to take out poor light gaming watch. But uh, I think she was kind of getting the swing of how to handle that matchup towards the later half of that first game. Yeah. But she, she can uh, keep it together. And we'll see how it goes for game two. Mm, interesting. I'm not sure what Game Watch wants to take a duck hunt. Oh, I guess we're just going to run it right back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't, don't fix it. So yeah. maybe she thought it wasn't really the Sage's fault at any point. Okay, so we're running it right back to Smashville. Let's see what uh, Smashville has learned from that first game. Yeah, I mean, that dash attack just made the can fly, like, right out of there. So I feel like that might be a really good answer. Going for the grab, only going to get an up tilt out of it. Yeah, I think part of this matchup is knowing what moves you have. Oh, oh man, she might have just used all of her luck up for this. <laughs> yeah, she might be able to, she might have a couple of RNG points still stored up, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, I was trying to say, I think part of knowing this matchup is figuring out what moves you have to safely uh, knock the can away back towards Duck Hunt. I like that from Spackle is going for a double nair and even dash attacks to put him off stage. Right. There's oh, this. there's the tech into the footstool. We just barely got in the ledge right back. That would have been really tragic turn around where yeah. Spackle's in. But Game of Watch's recovery is like one of the best in the game, so she was able to make it back very safely. Ooh. Barely sneaking in that neutral air past the super scary up smash Game & Watch, but he's going to take it up the top. No, very close. Okay, does get a trade with the can there, but it's sent really far off stage. Yeah, I know before a lot of people like to say that like Duck Hunt does have kind of a trouble killing, so yeah. we're, we are kind of seeing that even with the third lightest character in the game. Yeah, it's pretty rough still. He's going to get that first stock bow. Let's see if stock bow can make something happen before taking too much damage, but... This is part of the frustration of playing a uh, zoning character when you're forced to approach and go through the giant maze of hitboxes and projectiles. Okay. Nice can set up again, but does get the dash attack. Too far away to worry about the explosion there. Nice text on these backers. Otherwise, it would have been stock every time. Yeah. 
the get back air is multi hit from Game and Watch too. So if you're not ready for it, then you can lose your socks to that. But it looks like Nintendo's been ready for it. Okay, another can set up here. Sparkle's going to jump to the other side of the stage, trying to get out of danger, but still, in addition, where you have to approach, very rough for Game and Watch. It actually doesn't have that many solid like approach options, really. Yeah. And that'll catch the jump. The up air. Closing that one out with the 2-0 Nintendo. Yeah, looks like uh, he was able to catch on that spot so was trying to jump towards center stage a lot. And so with the can pressure, just able to force that out and then get the up airs to seal out the stock. So very smart from N yeah. Nintendo. I think that just might be a staple just duck hunt strategy since a lot of people don't really know what hitbox they can throw out at the can to safely uh, deal with it when it's on the ground. So you just default jump over it and then duck hunt has pretty good aerials. So just catch that the up air, fair, nair, as you guys saw. So yeah, good stuff. And uh, again, that's pretty cool to see like a common duck hunt player in a SoCal because I only saw uh, I'm hip occasionally, yeah. um, Jacob, and we rarely get to see.